Alright, what is going on guys? So today I'm bringing you another episode of Spank in the Spot. This is episode number three, and if you could real quick leave a like and a comment down below letting me know who you think is going to do the most work in this battle, as you can, as, in this video today. As you can see, I am bringing Arbok, Zorork, Espeon, Hitmonlee, Mega Garchomp, and Clawitzer. Now, most people are like, whoa, Kelly, you're bringing a Mega? I'm like, yeah, I'm bringing a Mega. I like Megas, too. Now, we are coming into this with five wins and two losses. Last last video, we did have four wins, but as I started to record this battle, my girlfriend called me right in the middle of recording, and uh, yeah, I was like, oh, babe. So we're going up against uh, somebody from Miyagi, 1645 rating. That's a, that's a pretty high rating. So I see the uh, Ubers. I see the Uber. Uber. Possible Ubers. And, um... I'm actually going to go with the Zorark lead, followed by the Sharkisha, and I'm also going to bring Espeon because it's choice scarfed, it can hit most stuff on a team for super effective damage. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Oh jeez, I'm I love this I love this series so much. Make sure you guys let me know who you think is going to do the most work in this battle because I love knowing what you guys are going to predict. Um if you also 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 could leave down a set that you would like me to use or a Pokemon that you would like me to use, anything, I don't really care what it is. I would love to use it. Even if it's something that's like not fully evolved, I don't really care. Just let me know, and I would love to use it. Um, this guy's taking forever in a day when it's not really that difficult to choose. You pick the Mega Hair across, you pick the Age Slash, and you bring the Greninja. Like, that's obvious. Um, hello? Hello? Excuse me, what are you doing? He's taking forever, and I don't like this because I'm just sitting here. And, uh,. I hope you guys are actually liking that I can make longer videos and put them on my channel because having to make videos under 15, finally, under 15 minutes to upload really, really, really made it difficult for me to do anything. I could only do post narrations and that was starting to get really old really quick. So I'm really glad that I can finally do this. Black screen forever and uh, she is issuing a challenge. Let's see what she's going to start off with. Start off with a Venusaur. Ooh, okay. And um, starting off with the Espeon. Actually, I'm starting off with a Zorork, but they think it's an Espeon. And uh, I'm actually going to go for a... I'm going to go for a Flamethrower. Because I am a choice Specs, I'm going to go for a Flamethrower. Going to go for a Flamethrower. He's like, oh, is this a Zorork or no? Um, There we go, there we go. Come on, go into the Aegislash. Go into the age slash. Even though it can be weakness policy. Ooh, I don't like that at all. I don't like that one bit. Don't like that one bit. Um, but at least I know he can't really do anything to me. And he's probably going to go for a water move. Um, I think I'm actually going to stay in and I'm just going to go for another flamethrower. Because there's really nothing I can do. I'm faster. Zerwark outspeeds Greninja. Huh, who would have thunk it? And I get the burn. That's really nice. That's really nice. I didn't expect that. A dark pulse. Really? You're going for a dark pulse right now. Explain that to me. Why would you go for a dark pulse? Like, Espeon cannot learn flamethrower. Like, oh, jeez, people. Oh, jeez. And your life orb, and you get burnt. So, um, yeah, you're basically dead right now. And anything else coming in is going to have to take a flamethrower, because I'm going to live. I love Zorark so much. Zorark is so freaking amazing. Just look at that face. Actually, the movie, uh, Zorark and the, or, uh, the Illusion, ah, shoot, what was it called? Um, crap, I cannot remember what it was called. That was one of the best Pokemon movies I think I've ever seen in the entire world, was the one that had to do with Zorark. Um, Flamethrower is going to knock this thing out, even if he does Mega Evolve, because I am Choice Specs, and it's going to do a whole heck of a lot of damage. Whole heck of a lot of damage, guys. Whole heck of a lot. Um, I'm not really too, too worried. I'm not really too, too worried, to be 100% honest with you. I wish... Zorark is such a good Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Nobody really, like, takes it as a threat. But if you can use it properly, it is a huge freaking threat. And my girlfriend's favorite color is purple, so I like the fact that it has purple hair. Oh man. Well, I don't understand why he's taking so long to pick his moves. Um... 
Mega Evolve, that's fine. You're still gonna die to the, uh... You're still gonna die to the Flamethrower. At least I'm pretty sure you will. I'm, I'm like, 97% positive you will. Flamethrower is gonna go off. Choice Specs, it's not Stab, which kinda sucks, but, uh, he does die. So that's a, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, Thick Fat didn't really help you right there, did it, you fat bastard? Um, he's probably gonna go into the Greninja again. I don't understand why, it's just a free death. Ooh, Aegislash. Um, okay. I'm gonna go for a Flamethrower right now. I know he is going to Shadow Sneak me, but this actually should not kill me. It shouldn't. It shouldn't kill me. There we go. And, oh, it was a crit too! <gasps> Zoroark taking all the hits! And then, that Flamethrower will knock that thing out. Zoroark put in work. Oh my god! Zoroark just knocked out all three Pokemon on the opponent's team. That is freaking amazing. So if you put your money on Zoroark, it looks like you're about to you're about to make some good money right now because Zoroark is putting in the G's match was forfeited. Either way, Zoroark got all three of those kills. That's freaking awesome. Love you, Zoroark. Love you. Love you. Love you. Um, no, we're not going to save that battle though. I don't think we're going to save that battle. Nope, not going to save the battle. That was that was a pretty good battle though. I'm proud of Zoroark. Do you want to continue battling? Um, heck yeah. Why wouldn't I want to continue battling? Are you on drugs? And uh, go for the in party. You just saw my other team for uh, the thing for the next. Just making the spot challenge. We are now 1572, six wins, two losses. Oh my lord, we are. I'm doing pretty well with these Pokemon. I'm like really proud that I'm bringing such lower used Pokemon. Um, 1665 rating from Fakuaka. Fakuoka. Fuk Fuck you, fuck you, that's what it's called, fuck you. Um, wow. Greninja, um, Volcarona, Cresselia, Rotom, Aegislash, and Tyranitar. Oh, jeez, um. Let's see, what do I want to start off with? I think I'm going to start off with the... I think I'm going to start off with the Clawitzer. And I'm also going to bring the... Hitmonlee. Um, and the Zoroark, but I'm obviously going to switch up Zoroark and Hitmonlee, so that way, if I do have to switch out, I can. I don't think I'm going to win this one just because of uh, the, uh, the insanely powerful looking team that she has. Her name is ABC. Her name is ABC. Oh, jeez. Why is it taking so many people so long to pick their Pokemon against me? Like, I'm bringing such lower tier pokes. I'd be able to pick so quickly if I was them. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so... Let's see what they lead off with. Actually, if... I know they're going to lead off first because most of my team is kind of sort of slow, except for my Espeon. And uh, Kyle wants to trade Pokemon with you. No thanks, Kyle. I'm in the middle of a battle. Um, that's really good for me. I kind of expected that to happen right there was the... Uh, was the U thing to come out. And I'm actually going to go for a Water Pulse because um, Assault Vest Max Attack is going to do a whole heck of a lot of damage. Assault Vest Max HP Max Attack with Mega Launcher and Stab should knock this thing out unless you're Focus Sash, which I highly doubt because nobody runs Focus Sash Volcarona because it does have a tiny, 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 tiny bit of bulk to him. Um, oh my gosh, I wanted to get a Volcarona, and name it Mothra. I really, really wanted to, but I never got around to breeding it. I just got my shiny one and uh, kind of got over with it. Battle Mace on 65 straight wins. You are a pro and a half, man. Pro and a half right in front of us, right here with a Volcarona that's about to die to a Clawitzer. Oh, Lordy B. Lordy B, Lordy B, Lordy B. <clears throat> Giga Drain. I should survive that. I survived that like a champ. Holy tits. Did you, did anybody else just see that? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> and then that's a dead Volcarona. So, good game, Mr. Volcarona. Good game. You, uh, you tried. That's all that really matters, honestly. Not really, because you kind of sucked in that right there. Um, he's going to go into Age Slash right now. Ooh, Greninja. Ooh, Greninja. Okay. Um, I'm expecting a Grass Knot right here. So I'm going to go for a Dark Pulse. Yep. Oh, extra sensory. Ooh, even perfect. If I if I survive this, that Dark Pulse is going to knock him out. 
If I survive this, that Dark Pulse is going to kill him. Yup, there we go. Dark Pulse, bye, dead. You go, Night Knight. You go, Night Knight. <gasps> Focus Sash. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. Um, I'm gonna go for an Aura Sphere because if he goes for a Grass now, if he switches out into that Tyranitar, switch out into Tyrant, into that Tyrant, into that Tyranitar, Cresselia, that's, that's like not good, but it's whatever. It's whatever. I'm gonna go for another Dark Pulse right here just because I can. Why the heck are not? This thing could be really good in a Trick Room team. Oh, I'm really congested right now, and I don't really understand why. But it's whatever. A Psychic, that's going to knock me out. No problems, no questions asked. That's going <gasps> to... Oh my gosh, Claude, so you are eating up all the hits. What are you doing? Are you on, like, steroids? And you get a crit? Going to go for the Moonlight. She's going to go for the Moonlight right here. There's, like, no questions asked. Unless she just forfeits, which I highly, highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. Um... My girlfriend just texted me saying, I love my lock screen. I don't even know what her lock screen is right now. That's a uh, Lunar Dance. What in the world does Lunar Dance do? What does Lunar Dance do? What the heck? <gasps> you bastard. Um, I'm gonna go for an R Sphere because she knows that I have the Dark- Oh my god, if I survive this Dark Pulse, if I survive the Dark Pulse, I will Oko it. <gasps> oh, I thought I was about to. I really thought I was about to right there. Um, I'm going to go into my Hitmonlee so I can get the Unburden Boost Fake out and give Hitmonlee a little bit of a time to shine. Because right now, Zoroark and Claude have kind of sort of done everything in the game. Uh, fake out right now. Gonna go for a fake out. Gonna get the unburden boost. That's gonna be a nice time to be had. And I should be, I should be faster after this. I should be faster, to be 110% honest. Oh my gosh! You need to turn down Hitmonlee. Turn down. Turn down for what? And then I should outspeed and go for a close combat and knock this thing out, because it's a dark type. I mean, that's just what I think. I'm like pretty sure. I'm hoping. Yep, there we go. Close combat. Him only took out one, and Claudster took out two. So that was that was pretty. That was a pretty good battle. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. Um, so right now we are at seven wins and two losses. Oh lord, lordy b, lordy b, lordy b. I'm really digging this three v three. I'm not. I'm okay. So here's the funny thing. Whenever I wasn't recording these, and I would always get on Battle Spot with just random Pokemon to just have fun. I always did freaking awful. I would always lose, like almost every single time I would lose. But now that I'm recording them, I'm actually not doing too bad. And I'm kind of I'm kind of enjoying that. In party. In party. Of course I'm going to challenge. So now right now I really do want to bring my um Arbok because Arbok hasn't really had time to shine and it really deserves a time to shine because Arbok Arbok is a really good Pokemon that nobody really expects to be good. A 1560 rating from Saitama, Saitama Japan, 1560, 1560. Mono water. So I'm going to be bringing my Zoroark lead with the does this uh Sharkisha have rock slide on it by any chance it doesn't um I'm trying to think what other pokemon do i have that could really do well sight um sure why not we'll bring arbok and we'll also bring Hitmonlee. Right? Yeah, what the hey? Why not, man? Why not? Um, if you're bringing a mono water team, shouldn't you want to bring a Politoed, though? For, like, Swift Swimmers and to raise the power of water type moves? Like, wouldn't that just make the most sense? Maybe, maybe that's just me thinking stupidly. I don't really know much about mono teams, or, or weather teams, for that matter. As you guys saw on my GBA battle, or my, uh, PDL battle. Greninja's going to start off, which is very good. Um, 
probably expecting me to go for the fake out. What I'm actually going to do is surprise him and go for a grass knot. Because I will be fa- Ooh, I won't be faster. But the psychic, the psychic move is not going to affect me. I should have gone for a night daze, honestly. Which really would have been a good idea. And I get the crit. Um, I'm going to go for a grass knot again. Because... Why are you still going for extra sensory? <laughs> what? <laughs> I freaking love Zoroark so much. Oh my god, I love Zoroark. I love Zoroark so freaking much. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Um... I'm gonna go for another grass knot. Why the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was that was easily the funniest thing that has ever happened to me on Battle Spot. Oh my gosh, that was perfect. That was freaking perfect. Oh lord. Um, I don't know if I can still outspeed after a plus one, but <laughs> oh lord, Gyarados is going to react to the Megring. So if he by some miracle misses anything or I can live a plus one or I can outspeed this is gonna knock him out like this is going to knock him out he goes for an earthquake that will probably knock me out because I'm kinda sorta frail as a duck yep <laughs> and then he's like oh my god it was a Zoroark yes it was a Zoroark why wouldn't it be a Zoroark um I'm gonna go and hit him only because him only is kind of sort of one of my favorite fighting types, aside from Hariyama and, um, uh, actually, yeah, I don't really know if I have another one. Fake Out's gonna go off, and that's gonna be a thing where I get the Unburden boost. And that's not gonna do a whole heck of a lot, but now I should outspeed. I should outspeed. I'm just gonna go for a Brick Break because I do not want to lose my, um, my, uh, defenses just yet. So, right now, Zoroark and Hitmonlee have been putting in the finest of work. Like, that was that was freaking insane. That was freaking insane. And let's see what his last Pokemon is. If, if it's Swanna, I think I got this because I do carry the Rock Slide. I think this is Swanna. Ooh, it's Milotic. Ooh, ooh, pretty Milotic. Um, I'm just going to go for a close combat. What the heck? Why not? Let's see how much damage this is going to do. Close combat is going to go off, and it's going to do not even half? Whoa there, whoa there, whoa, 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 whoa. And you have Rocky Helmet, and you're going to go for the Skull. This is going to knock me out. It didn't knock me out? Okay, cool. I get another close combat off, and that means that my, um, my Arbok can come in here after everything is all said and done and finish. <gasps> he got a crit! Him only and Zoroark put in the finest of work, giving us three wins on today's episode of Spank in the Spot. So if you put your money in on either Zoroark or Him only, I can't decide. You guys just won like a flat screen TV. I don't, I don't even know what you just won, but that was freaking awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this insanely fun battle of Spank in the Spot. Make sure you leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a fantastic day. Bye.